that through Sweet Adeline International's music education and vocal training, our many talented singers are supported, like our wonderful rising star champions. We are fortunate that our music creates a strong sense of community that is so meaningful to all of us. Today, I'd like to share one such story of the joy and bonds of friendship our members find because of the unique experiences provided through Sweet Adeline's. This member's story, and this member who wishes to remain anonymous, shared the following story and granted us permission to share it with you. And I want to give you a little bit of a disclaimer. Some of this story is difficult to hear, and therefore, you might want to take this opportunity to step out if you feel that it might impact you um, in that way. However, it is an important story, and our contributor and beloved fellow member asked us to share each word in its entirety and not to edit. She wrote to us, Within the membership of Sweet Adeline's International, there are doubtless thousands of compelling stories, women whose lives have been revolutionized by this hobby, and this is mine. This is not a story about being a victim. It isn't a tale of defeat. This doesn't describe a crushed spirit, a broken heart, or a wasted life. It doesn't represent any of those things, and yet, it might well have done so. Instead, it is a tale of hope and fulfillment. I was two years old when the physical punishment began, first with an open hand, then a clenched fist. I was constantly beaten with the belt and was always made to bring the belt to my abuser for the punishment. I was choked, burned, threatened with broken bones if I did not admit to something I had not done. I was endlessly punched or beaten. There was never any peace. I was constantly belittled, called disgusting names whose meanings I never even understood at the time. My abuser took delight in humiliating me in front of others, neighbors, friends, family. It didn't matter. My physical appearance and my intelligence were constantly belittled. There was nowhere to hide. In order to survive, I became the perfectly behaved child, and still the punishment continued. Each night during my childhood, I pleaded with God to not let me wake up the next morning. When I was 24, the abuse ended. During a brief verbal confrontation, I was punched so hard in the jaw I thought it was broken. Without thinking, I punched back, knocking my abuser off balance to the floor. I still feel guilty about what I did. It was the first and last time I ever used physical violence. A brief time later, I discovered Sweet Adeline's. I trusted and responded to no one. I was there to sing. I didn't want the smiles or understanding of these women. I didn't want a welcoming or goodbye hug. I didn't know them. Why were they being so pleasant? What did they want from me? <laughs> What did they want? I preferred to go to rehearsal, learn my music, go home and have them leave me alone. Slowly, I began to warm to them and to recover some self-esteem. I noticed that these women seemed to be having fun. There was a lot of laughter. Some of them even seemed to like me. I also noticed that despite my earlier concerns, they didn't seem to want anything from me. They just reached out and gave of themselves. As my confidence grew, I discovered that music was healing and that striving with others for a common goal in a nurturing environment was rewarding. It took a long time, but I began to smile and even to laugh. I discovered humor, an unknown quality to me prior to joining Sweet Adeline's. I can remember the night I looked around the chorus and realized that I felt strange. Not out of place, just odd. I had no idea what I was feeling then, but now I can look back and recognize it as contentment. I had never experienced that before. 
good feelings were completely unknown to me. I didn't know what they were, so I found them difficult to recognize. Today, as I continue to perform, I have come to recognize other feelings, happiness, satisfaction, success, accomplishment, even moments of joy. Most of all, I have gained wonderful friends and found a deep and profound core of inner peace. So, who am I? Well, I could be the director standing in front of you each week who seems to have it all together. I could be the member beside you, behind or in front of you. Perhaps I am the confident team leader or the choreographer. It is possible that I am the person who always seems to be laughing or the one who is rather introspective. Regardless of who I am, I know that I am simply a member just like you. My life has changed. I am happy. I enjoy and embrace everyone around me. I experience life fully knowing that I am who I was meant to be and I am where I was meant to be. In other words, I am Sweet Adelines. Such a powerful story, and I don't know about you, but it brings me great pride to know that she is living life on a high note now. It is inspiring to be part of an organization that can bring hope, healing, and meaning to the lives of so many. What Sweet Adelines provides is invaluable in the lives of our members. Each of us undoubtedly plays a role in creating life on a high note, and through our interactions, we are helping others to find their way. Now, I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce one of our members who has dedicated the last 50 years to Sweet Adelines, 50 years of creating bonds of friendship through our love of singing and barbershop. Nancy Kurth is a member of both Pride of Portland Chorus and Northwest Harmony Chorus, where she is frontline chorus director. Nancy has also been in numerous quartets over her 50 years of membership. And in addition, she has served tirelessly in many roles that have supported our young singers over the years, including currently serving as chair of the Young Singers Foundation Advancement Committee. Please join me in welcoming Nancy Kurth to the stage. Thank you, Patty, and good afternoon to all my friends that are here today and those that are watching on the webcast. Oh, you heard for the past 50 years, and they went really fast. It's been a blessing for me to share the love of singing in barbershop with so many of you. And as a director, I've witnessed the growth and the personal achievement of individuals in our organization, just like the one that Patty shared a moment ago. And it makes me proud to know that we have such a powerful impact on the lives of our members. Because there are thousands of young women in our world today that need this family, that need our harmony here in Sweet Adelines. My husband Dave and I have made a gift of $10,000 to the Life on a Hive campaign. We've made this gift because... <clears throat> We've made this gift because we want to help those members who are gaining confidence and moving their lives forward in a positive and productive way through Sweet Adelines. Thanks to all of you. By giving, we believe that we're sending a message that Sweet Adelines can make a difference in the lives of our members and women all over the world. Thank you. Well, of course, we want to thank Nancy and Dave for this very generous gift. And in fact, when the International Board of Directors was told of 
their gift and their motivation to do more for those we serve, we talked about the importance of showing our personal commitment to this effort. I'm thrilled to share with all of you that our board has each individual, has individual, there's too many individuals in this sentence. <laughs> I'm thrilled to share with you that our individual board members have together matched Nancy and Dave's $10,000 gift. <laughs> so that brings the total raise so far to the Life on a High Note campaign to $20,000. And today, we are challenging each of you to contribute so we can double these donations from twenty to $40,000. All gifts, large and small, will help us reach our match goal of $40,000 for the Life on a High Note campaign. Your support will enable Sweet Ad Alliance to increase grant funding, offer scholarships, and expand upon the educational offerings available to our membership, judges, and arrangers. Dave, Nancy, and the Board of Directors hope you'll join us in supporting Life on a High Note with your gift. If you are in the United States, you can make your gift by texting the word SUPPORT to area code 918-992-4838. I know you all just wrote that down, didn't you? If you prefer, you can give by putting a donation in the buckets that are going to be being passed by the Scottsdale Chorus members or in the donation box located at the webcast table. You can also give by going to our website, sweetadelines.com, or by visiting the convention registration desk. So many different ways to give. So as members of our outgoing champion chorus pass the bucket, please give. And once again, while you're giving, enjoy the starlets and join them in singing with a little help from my friends. <laughs> 